Hey everybody, welcome to Dogwood Springs Outdoors. It's been a while since we've done something like this, but um, gonna decided to try to bring you with us today. We're doing some kind of maintenance and repair on my Kubota Zero Turn. It's a Z421 60 inch um, gas powered Kubota. Um, it's, I've had it, I guess September will be four years. I've been just generally really happy with it. But that said, I, I have had some kind of problems that are seem to be repetitive i mean i take uh good care of it i think i service it like i'm supposed to i uh keep it clean i don't uh, abuse it as far i don't over i don't push it too hard but i have had some problems that have been like I say repetitive and one of those uh, i guess the biggest one that is that has kind of cost me the most time to and delays in fixing which always happens on a weekend when i can't get the parts either is uh, the, the there's a tension spring on one of the pulleys for the drive belt, and that's broken. And this is the second time it's broken now in uh, two years, uh, in the past two years. The first time, uh, the belt just came off. The belt wasn't in bad shape at that point, um, so I just got the new spring and 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 put it on. Get got the belt back on, put the spring on, and was good to go. The other issue. That I, again, I think it's a design kind of problem is both times when that spring breaks on the two of the pulleys under there on this drive belt system, there are little plastic bands. And when that belt comes off the top moving like that and, and with tension on it, it rips the fan off, you know, and they're, they're plastic, but they have a little metal nut where, you know, they're, they're fastened to the top of the pulley and they're quite difficult to get to. And they're not cheap through Kubota either. Uh, but anyway, all that, my Kubota dealer is, you know, they've been very helpful to me, but their uh, labor is $115 an hour for any uh, labor they do in addition to the parts. So, and that's one, they are local, and that's one of the main reasons I, I went with, with the Kubota here. Uh, but the, uh, anyway, <laughs> this tension spring, I'll show you that right there is what it is. Uh, the first time it broke, just to show you what we're, we're all dealing with, or as an example of what we're all dealing with, with inflation or price gouging or whatever it may be, <clears throat> say just less than two years ago, that spring cost me $9.30 something cents. This week, it cost me $22.80 something cents for the spring. And it was not, it's not just them. I checked around and everybody's very similarly priced for that part. So one thing, if you are going to try to do this uh, yourself, and I say one of the reasons I decided to film this is because I've done it before and there's not a lot of uh, information or videos online to help you with, with the best way to do this. And I don't know that I, what I'm doing is the best way, but I figured I'd at least show you and, you know, you can kind of decide for yourself how you want to approach it. One thing I highly recommend um, if you are doing this, we have to replace that spring. And what happens is this, it'll just break, you know, right there in the curve. And so it pops off, um, is get a spring pull tool or build one or make one yourself, but that will save you a lot of headache right there. And I might be speaking from experience going into it. Just got a latch back here to raise this seat. I'm going to show you the fan blades well this is let's see right there is one of the fan blades on top of that pulley and guess what the other one is right under the fuel tank there the one that's broken they broke off this time the last time it was that one so i just took off that um the hydraulic arm there and and was you know, able to access that without too terribly much trouble. But that one is going to be a different story. I'm afraid I can't get to it from underneath because you have to tighten it from the top. So I think the only way to do that is to take the fuel tank out. I'm not going to do that right now because it's a whole lot of fuel in there. So, so there's a few things we got to do. And again, we're trying to do this with as minimal, I guess, uh, disassembly as possible. Um, again, that's the, the mower belt right here and it has to come off because it's in the way you can't get to the top one with that on there. 
So that has to come off. This has to come off it's for you to be able to get the belt, a uh, new belt on. Like my case, I gotta get the other one off. But, um, and this cable is a clutch cable. We gotta disconnect that and get it out of the way temporarily. And that should be, in this one, that should be about it. Uh, we'll go around there and um, take the tension spring off on the mower deck belt. Sorry, my finger got in the way there. Again, that tool, <laughs> if you don't have one, get you one or make you one. Now this is that uh, clutch cable. Just gotta squeeze those clips there. So got, it, got it disconnected. Gonna feed it back out. So now with that tension off, this just, you know, pops right on down. Get it out of the way. So that's the V belt or drive belt or hydrostatic belt. There's, I mean, you hear it called all different things, but that's part number for uh, this C421 that helps you out. And I'll also show you the part number for that tension spring as well. They have... So when you're routing the belt, um, hook it over the back. And then you got those two pulleys. One of them is the tension pulley in the middle. And just put, you know, center of the belt, pull it through both, right the middle on both, you know, ends. Don't try to separate it before that. And then once you get it through those, one side goes around and hooks over this pulley over here. And this is one of the ones with the fan blade on it. And then the other one comes to the other side and hooks on that. The other pulley with the fan blade. And just We're going to hook that uh, spring on and then pull from the other side. So that's the part number for the tension spring. And they've, they've updated that from the original part number. The original one's not available anymore. And I hope, it's, hope this new one's a little stronger. I mean, this spring, you see it's not the same. And nobody really talks about that. But the... It makes a difference which side is hooked up to what. So this is what the tension spring looks like when it's been uh, put back on. Again, you got this bolt right here with the the um, groove on it under the pulley. And that's the one that actually, you know, is, is movable. And then it mounts to the front up there. The shorter end of the spring mounts to the front. And it's again, it's got the groove up above that bolt and nut on the top of that. And it's even got, you can kind of tell it's made for it. It's got that, just that bar going down through there. It has that notch cut in it. Uh, so you, your coil doesn't bind or rub or anything like that. That one is a lot tighter. Then the other one. All we gotta do now, I went ahead and put that bracket back on that bar and uh, just hook this the uh, clutch cable back up. This is what the fan looks like that, that it was still up under there. I just pulled it out. It's stripped out. There's like there's a metal nut that goes inside there, and so when it's gone, it's gone. Um, and that'll still be on top of the pulley. So We'll do that in a different video. I'll show y'all. Um, we'll take the gas tank off when I get it more empty and, and replace that one. And we'll just kind of show the process of doing that. Um, but that's it. We're we're set and ready to rock and roll now. I hope that's helpful to you. Um, it's 
it's it's not too bad to do and you, obviously as you can see you don't have to take everything apart to do it which a lot of I think of the videos on there act like you do and if you can lift your mower up it certainly works better uh, as far as your access to get under there and do all that but I didn't even do that in my case and I'm a big guy so it is possible anyway again thanks for watching and y'all come back and see us